so paper marbling with shaving cream. We're gonna apply a thin layer of shaving cream to the bottom of this tin baking dish. And then we're gonna flatten it out with a tool here. And these little putty. Scrapers. There we go. Now we're going to apply some pigment using liquid watercolor. Is there a color we haven't used yet that somebody wants to do in this one? Oh, I can do orange. What do you want to do? Do you want to do. Yeah. And can we do that in teal? And do you want to do like a silver or a metallic? All right. So we've got, I just mixed, I diluted the liquid watercolors with some water in these containers. So to make a pattern and a marble, we're going to drip the pigment as evenly as you want to. You can make it really even or you can make it more organic and crazy. I'm not really squeezing the container right now. Depending on how much I diluted the um, pigment, it'll just kind of pour out. This is pr a pretty good consistency. All right, so you need to squeeze it. It just makes little drips. So now we're going to do this teal. Whoa, it's much more liquidy. You see it's coming out very fast. So I'm just gonna move my hand, try to get the pigment and the white in between spots. It's dripping a little bit. And now I'm going to add the gold. I wouldn't do more than three colors. This is also very liquidy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're gonna use a skewer. Can I borrow that skewer? Or that All right, now I'm going to um, begin moving the skewer through the shaving cream without scraping the bottom of the tin to marble the paper or create a marble pattern that we will make a print of to add the texture to the paper. So I'm going to carefully pull, pull, pull all this pigment around in one direction. Now I'm going to go in another direction. You know, I think instead of adding the spiral on top of this, this time I'm going to keep it as is and do a print. Can you hand me a piece of paper behind you there? Got my paper. I'm going to gently lay the paper on top and press it down just gently, although it might be tempting to mush it around. Shaving cream is really fun to work with. So now, once we've made full contact, I'm just going to pull this off. some paper to squeegee it off onto here. I'm going to pull this off and see. Kind of want to use that. You could see this little negative space there, that shape that it didn't get pushed down very much, but now it looks like a gazelle or something and maybe it can turn into something different later. So I do want to get all the excess shaving cream off and then all this excess shaving cream on the tool. I want to put back in the container and then I can experiment with doing another print of the same thing, a ghost print, mm -hmm. so I don't waste the shaving cream. Does anybody want to do that? Yeah. Actually, we could do multiple. Go ahead. Is there any stick? Oh, here's a stick. Is that a skewer? There it is. I have one. This will be on it later today. <laughs> and then I'll move this out of the way so you can squeegee it off onto the paper there if you want. And then you can do a print over here. Here's the squeegee. Do you want to hand her the squeegee there? Perfect. Nice. Let's see. Let's compare them. What's the difference? They're very similar, actually. You did a better job than me in um, compressing it evenly because you see you don't have that white space where this, this is. I wonder what yours is going to look like. All right, you can go and take yours. And we'll set yours down on the paper there. The pattern looks really cool. Sorry. It's all good. Do you want to squeegee it? Um, 
My favorite place to get the supplies for this is the dollar store. So the Barbasol and <laughs> here, scrape it, here. scrape it on the tin. And these uh, squeegees, um, dollar store. that I really like these little like repeated shapes here of the white as we're doing more and more prints of the same thing um, there's more and more white space I would just scrape it off on there right